When you are in pain, you can't think of anything else. Well, let me show you what, what I mean. If I were to give you a, a math equation, something slightly harder than 2 plus 2, something that would take you just a moment to think about, and you could work it out in your head or scratch it out on a piece of paper, something like 148 plus 125. If you had a second, you could think about it and say, that equals 273. But imagine right before I ask you that a math equation, you hit your thumb with a hammer. And I say, hey, what's 148 plus 125? You know what the answer is that you're going to come up with in your head? Ouch, this hurts, my thumb! Because you can't think about anything else when you're in pain, right? Stub your toe. What is it that comes in your, your head? Pain and words that you shouldn't say, right? That's all that enters your mind. It's difficult for you to think of others or anything else when you are in pain. So if you can hardly think of anything else, it's going to be difficult for you to think of anyone else. Some of you, you don't know why you sabotage your friendships or why you end up being selfish in relationships or why you do foolish things that runs off people that you love. But the truth is that deep down under all the layers of the onion, there's guilt that's causing you shame and pain. When you're in pain, you, you, you can't think of anyone else. And we see this play out with Adam and Eve. Because when Adam faces God, he's tried the apron, that didn't work. He's hid behind a tree, that didn't work. And he comes out and he speaks to God. Adam feels so uncomfortable under the light of God's questions that he immediately tries to shift God's attention elsewhere. And he says, the woman that you gave me. It was her fault. 